Hi everybody, Ben here from Atlas Ordinary. So, this is that um, soft coloured ghost swipe that I did. I don't know if I actually showed you guys or not, so I'm showing you again. Oops, I forgot to turn one of my lights on. I thought it was a bit dark. There we go. <clears throat> so there we go with this one. So I'm really happy the way it's turned out. It's quite shimmery. So there's um, antique silver. There is um, violet topaz. And there was antique copper. So the antique copper is this dark purpley one. And it comes out more purple. Um, but then in the shimmer, it gives that kind of coppery color to it. But So that was that one. So I have similar colors. But I have taken out the antique copper and I have put in, I'll get the jar actually. I have put in fire opal, which is a kind of orangey red with um, gold kind of metallic color coming through it. So um, somebody asked for... This, they wanted a different colour and I showed them this one and they liked it. So that is what I'm going to do. Now, my base coat. I kind of wanted to go for something not so white. No, I didn't want black, white or grey. So I wanted a grey-ish colour. So I've gone for this kind of slaty, kind of like a grey-blue. Um, that's going to be the base coat. So... I'm hoping it all works out. Sometimes you don't always know until you try, but that's it. And the difference today is I have got angled um, swipe cards and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do when I start swiping. So this is the plan. So I'm just going to keep this stuff aside because I am going to do the base coat. What I will do with the base coat is I will put it on, I will spread it around with my palette knife and then I will tilt it until it's even all the way around and then I'll come back and do the swiping. So I will pause it while I do this so you guys don't have to get too bored watching me do the, the base coat. All right, back soon. Okay, I'm back. So I have coated it. I tilted it over the edges and I gave it a quick torch to make sure that I got out any of the air bubbles. Now, I did forget to get, tell you how much paint I've been using. So, in this um, base coat, there's 36 grams white, 3 grams um, warm, no, cobalt hue, and 1 gram black and then 180 grams flow troll. So the base coat is all Araldo Di Polo because um, I have ran out of white in the Montmartre. So the Araldo Di Polo works well as well. So I use that. <clears throat> and then my three metallic colors are one part paint to three parts flow troll. So these, um, a couple of them are left over from my last um, artwork. So the antique silver and the violet topaz are left over from the last artwork. So I'm just going to be using those. And then I made up the fire opal using 4 grams paint and uh, 12 grams flow troll. So I'm just giving these a quick little stir because they do settle a little bit when they are left. I've got these miniature pop sticks and they're perfect for these little cups. So, so this is a fire opal one. It's really, really nice. I'm hoping it goes well with these colors. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the light, the violet one first. So what we do is we pour it off the canvas in the middle. And then I'm just doing my wiggly line that I do.
I always do a wiggly line because I find it gives you colour both sides. Well, it's not completely straight there, is it? Oh well. Now I'm going the um, antique silver. So you start off the canvas and end off the canvas. Now we have the fire opal, which I'm going to do a slightly different line. Just so it mixes in a little bit more with the other colors. So Usually the last colour is going to be more of your standout colour. But because there's not a lot of colour overlapping each other, they all should actually show up quite well. Let's pop you. There we go. Now, I have my cut down swipe card. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to swipe on angle. On like a probably a 45 I think it is. The only difference is I usually always start on this side of the canvas, but I'm going to have to start on this side. So I've got to work, wrap my head around that. I'm a creature of habit, and sometimes when I do things a different way, I get myself confused. So what we're going to do is take half the paint and just swipe that there and just swipe on an angle. The only thing with doing this, I do find your little tip will get soggier quicker, so you have to swap your cards more frequently. Then you grab where you were, and you swipe again. I'm still going to do it a little bit ghost swipey but um just a little bit different this time so you just want to keep grabbing half your paint and try and go on that same angle each time when you swipe i'm getting cells popping up My line isn't going straight, so I need to come down a little bit. There we go. This card's point is getting a little bit bent. See how that's bending? So I don't want to use that anymore. If you continue to use it while it's bent, it's just going to cause you more problems than what it's worth. So then we just grab a new card. And just continue with it now this artwork will come into its will look better once I've done doing both sides and you'll see more what's happening so again just grab and swipe and I swiped over those cells accidentally so right, more are popping up It's a little bit harder to see because I'm swiping the way that my arm is, my hand, so I kind of can't actually see what I'm actually doing. So these are in my kind of um, more subtle tones. Trying not to do some that are always so bold. I definitely haven't done that line very straight, have I? That's a shame. Now with this last bit, 
I'm just going to try and grab that little bit there. My light's in the way. Sugar. So, you can already see my floor. I went a little bit too deep, hard because I was trying to hold the light and everything. And I have shown up a tad of that canvas. That should be okay. So this is the first time me doing it this way. You, you learn different things as you go. So now I'm going to have to rotate this. It always likes to stick to the... There we go, that side. Um, that's a bit better in frame. So I don't know if you can see, but see how I haven't exactly gone half and half? I've kind of gone a little bit too much this way, but that was also by me when I poured the paint. So I think that kind of set me off on a different tangent with how it was going. But that's all right. We'll see how it works. If it doesn't work, it's just a canvas. Just paint over it. I don't really get too upset. I get a little bit frustrated when things don't turn out, but I don't get too upset about it. Art is fun. It's supposed to be enjoyable. If you make it stressful, then you don't have that much fun with it. So you just got to kind of relax and go with the flow sometimes. And if it doesn't turn out, oh well, there's always next time. So now we're just going to do the same thing. Try and get where you got your paint from last time. And just swipe off. Again. And it's just a matter of continuing along. card I'm putting aside, getting my next one, just keep swiping along as you go. I'm going to cut another card. So all as I did was I got a card and I just cut on an angle. Just try to remember roughly what angle you cut on um, so you can make more of it. Now this last bit's the bit I'm going to be careful with. What I might actually do is cut my card down so it's smaller. So then I'm not trying to squish myself into a spot. That was better. I think the edge did hit the canvas right 
Alrighty, that's this one done. <clears throat> Definitely a bit different. The you can you can tell that it's not in a straight line across the middle. That's probably my biggest disappointment with this. Apart from that, I like how it's turned out with the effects and everything. And that that line not being straight might not look that bad. Um, Let me just give it a, oops, a quick little torch, just to make sure I haven't got any more bubbles hiding in there. different I I like the concept I think my execution could have been a little bit different so my swiping was fine it was more just my line work um, could have just had that a little bit more centralized but I think if I hang this upright so this will be the top and that will be the bottom I don't think it would look that bad because it's not so much it goes a little bit up in this area but it's not completely like I've gone in a, a dome shape or anything. It's just gone a little bit. I don't think it's worth my while. I'm going to try, but I don't think it's worth my while tilting it. It's not really going to, it's not really changing much unless I tilt it more. And I think it's going to affect my lines because then my lines will start going down that way instead of keeping on that um, sideways angle. So not going to do it. I'm going to keep it. If I decide I don't like it in the future, I will paint over it. Simple enough. But see this fire opal? I love this fire opal. It's been one of my favorite colors. Um, it was the one that I wanted to buy in the first place, but it sold out and then I couldn't get hold of it for a while. So... Now that I've got it again, um, I'm really pleased. So the fire opal will give me gold shimmer when the purple and the silver will give me a silver shimmer. So it's just the type of um, micas that they've put into this paint. But see, I've got cells coming up, not over the top cells, which is good. Um, it kind of just gives you a little bit of effects without really taking over the whole piece. Um, I think that angled kind of just adds some different interest to it. But yeah, not overly bold. I'm trying to do a couple of more subtle things just to see how they go. Um, and yeah, hopefully, hopefully I, I like them once I put them up on the wall. I have to, I've got a drop of paint on the floor. I've got to wipe that up before I can get to my camera. Otherwise, I'm going to get it all over my socks. It's freezing cold here, so I'm painting in <laughs> my socks. All right, let's come down for a close-up. There we go. The color's not that correct. Where are we? Oh, it's not that way. It's actually a bit lighter than what the camera was showing, so that's probably more correct. These lights are getting in the way. Uh, it's hard because once I turn the lights off, you lose a lot of the what you can see. Let me see if I can adjust the colours back. That's pretty close to what I actually see with my eyes. Um, I'd say that's pretty close, especially this this bottom half. But that's it. So it's kind of like an angled ghost swipe, um, just for something a bit different. See how it goes. Um, I actually like it. I like the colours. I think sometimes I just have to change my opinion on what I'm doing at the time and see if it actually improves. Um, but yeah, I always keep my artworks that I do that I think are a bit of a fail. You put them aside and look at them again in a week or two later because sometimes your perspective of what it should have been can taint your opinion of what it actually has turned out to be. So you don't want to throw something away or dislike something when it actually is a good artwork just you thought it was going to be different so 
let's have a look here. There we go. Look, see, we've got cells. Got these nice colours, which aren't going to show their full potential until they dry. Metallics will do that. But a nice soft blue background with fire opal, violet and um, silver, a dark silver. It's called antique silver, so it's quite a dark one. But yeah, cool. I hope you guys like this. Um, going to try and do something else a little bit different. I'm trying to think of new things to do um, in techniques that I already do. So kind of just altering things a bit. But yeah, let me know what you think and I will see you soon for another pour. Okay, bye.